Hi, welcome. This is Julie Geigel, and this is Wake Up Wednesdays. And our topic today is psychic attacks. So we're just gonna jump right into this very, very um, hot topic, psychic attacks. This is Julie Geigel. I'm an international psychic medium, trance channel for Archangel Metatron, and awakened healer. And today we will be talking about psychic attacks. And welcome, Carol. Thanks for joining us here today. Uh, yeah, so we did some channeling yesterday on Angel Talk Tuesday. Good morning, Lori. And Metatron wanted to speak about psychic attacks. I've actually, I had an experience last week that I'll share later with you. And I've also had uh, incredibly enough. Oh, good morning, Christy. Wednesdays are my favorite. Love your live videos. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. That really fuels me for the day. I'm going to need it, girls. I am going to need it. Today we're talking about psychic attacks. It is a tough subject to talk about, but I'm, I'm going to hit it today. I'm going to hit it hard. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to do today. I have three amazing things for you today. First, we're going to do a beautiful healing. Uh, I love to come here. Oh, good morning, Kathy. I love to come here every Wednesdays. We call in the light workers, we call in the prayer warriors, and we do a beautiful healing for the planet. Thank you, Nancy, for joining us. So, yeah, yeah, a beautiful healing for the planet. We know that our planet needs this right now. So I truly, truly appreciate your love and support, especially during these first 10 minutes of our uh, live feed because the, the live energy is really, really important. And it increases and magnifies as you come in, as you hit that love button, as you hit that like button, and as you share this across your news feed. It all helps to raise that vibrational frequency of love and light and spread peace uh, throughout the world, the beautiful, peaceful healing for our planet today. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to do the the healing uh, with the crystal bed. I'll share that in a minute. And then, again, we're going to be talking about psychic attacks. Today, it's a tough subject, but I'm just going to jump right in, and we're going to do it. We're going to talk about that today. And then, uh, for our live audience, I'd like to do a special bonus, and uh, I like to do a free psychic reading for our live audience. So we will be choosing a lucky winner at the end of our uh, live feed today for a uh, free psychic reading. And uh, don't forget, I work with six decks. I work with six angel cards uh, decks. I have the healing deck, romance, messages, life purpose, Archangel and fairy deck. So be thinking about what deck you would like a reading from um, today so that when I shout out free psychic reading, you'll be ready. You'll be ready um, with what you want. Good morning, Lynn. Woohoo! All right, so we're going to just take one moment to talk about uh, some of the classes that I have coming up. I'm an expert over at Ohm Times Experts, and I'm just thrilled and delighted uh, that they've invited me to join them as a spiritual teacher. I offer online spiritual classes. Kathy, how long does this go for? 30 minutes. Thank you, Nancy, for sharing. And I'm, I've got a great one coming up here on June 15th. You're not going to want to miss this. If you resonate with our topic today, Psychic Attacks, if you're having any issues with negative energy, you're going to want to make sure you attend this class on June 15th. It's called Brain Harmony, Clearing Out Negative Energy. I'm going to help you do that. I have a beautiful hypnotherapy experience coming up for you on June 15th to help you clear that. And the best part is it's recorded and you can listen to it again and again and again and again. It really is amazing. All right, and that's on June 15th, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, 10 Eastern. You can sign up for that over at our experts.omtimes.com forward slash Julie Geigel. And I did post that in our description if somebody wants to 
put that in the news feed for us, that would be awesome. That is experts.omtimes.com forward slash Julie Geigel. And don't forget our meditations. I'm out of town tomorrow at a special conference, but we will be uh, hosting our next healing meditation on June 22nd. It is all about energy. Very, very exciting. Again, uh, this month is all about energy, making sure that you are vibrating in that love or above frequency so that you can claim your divine abundance, your divine right to prosperity. Very exciting. Alrighty, and Liani shared. Uh, thank you so much, Liani, for your support here. We couldn't do this without her. <laughs> She's amazing. And good morning, Robin from Dallas. Woohoo! All right, so yeah, if you've just joined us now, please uh, feel free to post your name, what state you're in, and any healing that you'd like today. If you need a physical, mental, or emotional healing, we are prayer warriors this morning, and we're going to be doing a, a special healing for you right now now so we're all coming together collectively joining in uh, for a beautiful beautiful healing what I want you to do first to activate this energy is um, first I'm going to share the crystal bed with you I want you to tune in to the energy of the crystal bed because what the crystal bed is doing right now I have it running this whole time everybody's getting a beautiful cleansing so just imagine you know as you go through your day as you go through life uh, you kind of get beat up and your aura gets kind of ragged looking and so this uh, is an opportunity to just cleanse that aura so it's crystal clear and sparkling and all of those holes and um, batteredness is healed instantly and cleared good morning Maria Okay, let's go ahead and share that crystal bed because it is pretty glorious. And we have the prayer triangle up there. All of you that have signed up for our newsletter, your names and special prayer requests are in that prayer triangle right now. And you get a healing almost 24-7. This crystal bed runs almost every single day. And so as you can see, the beautiful lights are flashing on and off. They run through the seven chakras of your whole body with different colors. So we've got color therapy, light therapy, and crystal therapy going on right now. And the crystal bed cleanses, clears, and releases any blockages or interference in your aura, in your energetic field. So just soak that in right now. All right, feel that vibration increasing right now. Beautiful. So you've tuned in and connected with that amazing crystal bed. And the next step I want you to do is rub your hands together. And what this does is it activates your own connection to the universal life force energy field that is ever available, always present for each and every one of us. And as you rub your hands together like that, it activates a beautiful uh, opening, a beautiful energetic portal of healing. And so for me, when I do that, when I rub my hands together like that, hey, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie's excited. Yay. Uh, so are we. Uh, so at, rub the, your hands together. If you just come in, activate that incredible energy right now my hands are tingling so whenever i rub my hands together like that they start to tingle and then they start to heat up it's really kind of cool so right now i can feel them getting warmer and warmer and i know you can feel yours too so please share with us what happens when you rub your hands together are you feeling the tingling are you feeling the heat are there are they heating up now oh thanks um avalon Tree Avalon Sira <laughs> just shared her video. Thank you, sweetie. Um, so what happens when you rub your hands together? Can you feel that energy? Do they heat up like mine do? Now, if you're not feeling anything, it's okay. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. Some people will feel it and some people won't. But as you join us here each week, and as you do this with us each week, it attunes you to this beautiful energy and you will start to feel more and more. Trust me, you will. All right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to place your hand on your heart 
And whatever healing you need in your life today, right now, I want you to state that intention. So say um, you have a, a headache. Just ask that that headache be cleansed, cleared, and released. Maybe you have uh, some joint pain. And we're just going to beam light on any joint pain. So, good morning, Robin. If you want a specific healing for something, please share that in the news feed so we can beam you a beautiful healing light for an, a rapid and efficient healing in your body. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So now what I want you to do, now that we've placed, um, did healing for ourselves, we're going to uh, imagine that beautiful circle and there's a beautiful healing light in the middle. And now I want you to invite your family and your friends into this beautiful circle with us. And just imagine your partner, maybe your parents, siblings, children, friends, neighbors. We're all offering a beautiful healing for our own inner circle, the people that we affect. And we're sending special healing for Lori's grandson, Deacon, just beaming love and light on his beautiful, precious soul. All right, I can feel it getting stronger. <laughs> Alrighty, now what we're going to do is expand that into your state. So go ahead and uh, share what state you're in. We'll, we'll send you a special shout out, beautiful healing for your state. I'm in Wisconsin. Oh, thank you for all those loves this morning. I'm feeling it, absolutely. I am in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Lynn, missing my family who are 1,500 miles away especially children and grandchildren. So we're doing special blessings for Lynn. Awesome, awesome. All right, Missouri, Christy. We're sending a healing for Missouri, New Mexico, Vanessa, Michelle, California. Awesome, Lynn, Texas. Just imagine beaming beautiful lights to all of those states. California for Stephanie, Robin, another one in Texas. Lots of people in Texas, wow. And we are going to do a special healing for London. They've been hit hard lately. Washington State. All right, just imagine beaming that love and light to London and all those people affected by this week's tragedy. Alaska. All right, Columbia. Oh, a little baby with cancer. We're going to send her special love and light. Casey in Oregon, awesome. Now, we're going to expand that out into the whole planet. And I want you to imagine being on that crystalline grid and just kind of finding your spot, jumping into that light bulb. And as you step into the crystalline grid that's covering, encasing the whole planet, just feel the light move up and out your body. It's, it's just incredible. And now we're connecting into the heavens and then we're gonna circle that back down Circle that back down, down through your feet, now down through the earth. Because we're standing on top of the earth in that beautiful crystalline grid. All right, all right. Oh, beautiful healing for humanity right now. Peace prevails. Peace prevails. Peace prevails now. Okay. Take a nice deep breath. Okay, clap your hands. Disconnect from that energy. Awesome, awesome. All right, now we are going to go into a beautiful discussion this morning about psychic attacks. Now, have you ever experienced a psychic attack? If you have, uh, we'd love to hear how you've dealt with it, how you've handled that. If you have any concerns about maybe um, your wondering if you're being psychically attacked or if there's something going on in that energetic field um, we'd love to hear any questions comments you have about our topic today psychic attack so i channeled archangel metatron yesterday during our show angel talk tuesday and he had some beautiful beautiful words about um 
negative interference. Negative interference is what uh, Metatron like to call it. Now, let's go ahead and start with our affirmation. I am a light being. So if somebody could uh, write this in the news feed for me, I'd be ever so grateful. I am a light being, an extension of God, source energy, and darkness cannot exist where there is love. Again, I am a light being, an extension of God, and darkness cannot exist where there is light. And Lynn is sharing, I white light myself and the other person. That is so, so beautiful. So a psychic attack, there's, there's a couple different levels of psychic attacks. So um, a psychic attack can be when another person is upset with you and they're uh, thinking negative thoughts about you or wishing you harm. And um, that is absolutely perfect what Lynn just said. Uh, the very first and foremost thing to do is to call in the light because you are light. You are an extension of God. You are part of God. So when you do that, you are raising your vibration. You're tuning into the beautiful force of the universe and they're able to come in and help you. And if you are able to um, not only surround yourself with that white light, but also that other person, it helps to diffuse that energy. And a lot of times... Um, a lot of times it is, you know, that ego and it is just simply a matter of helping that other person step out of their ego and to remember that they are a light being. Thank you, Liani. I am a light being, an extension of God, and darkness cannot exist where there is light, most definitely. Now, the other uh, psychic attack that uh, I also want to reference because it is happening is that... Um, there are, Metatron explained, we have light energies and we have dark energies. And now that everybody is awakening, now that the veil is lifting, we are more aware of all of the energies that are around us. And so this isn't anything new. This didn't just suddenly appear, these energies. They've always been there. But now we are more sensitive, so we are more aware of them. That was the first thing that Metatron wanted to share with us. And the second thing he wanted to share with us that's very important is that we have the power, not the uh, dark energies. Uh, they do not hold the power. And our fear fuels them. So a lot of times we have a hard time, you know, when, when we're feeling a negative energy or when someone has said something to us and, and um, that maybe crossing our boundaries and we're feeling threatened, we do instantly go into fear and panic, anxiety, and it is our choice to stay there. It is our choice to rise up out of that and choose light and enlist our angelic support, enlist our spiritual counsel to assist us, and also reach out to other light workers and check, you know, Google, Google it. If you don't know what to do, Google it. There's lots of information out there, lots of resources at your fingertips. People want to help you. You do not have to hide. You do not have to experience this alone. We are here as a light worker community to send you our love and our light and to be here for you and help you. So the first thing I do, I had an experience last week and I'm just going to share, I'm a very transparent person, I'm just going to share that straight up um, for you today. Last week I had an experience and a very in, innocent message came through um, my private message over on Facebook. And they had just inquired about my work and, and my channeling, how I channel Metatron. And I, you know, just explained that I, I, I step aside and I allow Metatron to come in to my body and speak the words through me in first person. And um, then this person had um, made a suggestion that they were going to come into my body and they were going to do that. And so immediately I could feel this wall come up. I could feel Metatron come up with this wall. I could feel my spiritual counsel come in and be like, oop, 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 
we need to surround her with love and light. This is a lower energy. This is a lower frequency that's trying to come into her energetic field and um, create interference, if you will. So again, if you're experiencing anything like this, and I've had some people call in the last um, week, uh, in the last three months, about some specific experiences as they are walking this beautiful spiritual path. And if that happens to you, the first thing you do is you call in your spiritual counsel. You say that prayer I just shared with you. I am a light being, an extension of God, and darkness cannot exist where there is light. Remember, your fear fuels them. Your love um, disengages them. So the second thing is to tune into this magnificent energy. Tune into the love and the support and of the beautiful light that your spiritual counsel has to offer you. Tune in to the angels and the masters and the beings and God that you work with. Surround yourself with that beautiful energy, that high frequency of love and light. And, you know, one thing I do immediately when I feel threatened is angels 911 because the angels can't assist you unless you ask for their help, unless you open up that doorway and say, please come in and help me. And so as soon as I say angels 911, I can feel thousands and thousands of angels surrounding me everywhere. It's really, really pretty incredible. And uh, so use that, angels 911, that's amazing. Feel your power, your truth, your extension of God. Another one I use is I do my arm above my head and I repeat three times. I want you to do this with me. I own my own power at all times. I own my own power at all times. I own my own power at all times. And what this does, what I, and I, I can see this, is it creates a beautiful vortex. It's like a beautiful beam of light that comes instantly, immediately down from heaven and surrounds you, encases you in a beautiful bath of love and light. Now, uh, becoming, um, we talked about becoming more aware and now you are actually able to see these unseen uh, forces. So there, there is an unseen force field that's around each and every one of us. And uh, one of the ways that helps you discern between good energies and lower frequency energies, the darker energies, is how you're feeling. So when you're feeling uh, blissful, when you're feeling at peace, when you're feeling supported, you are tuning in to light beings. When you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling fearful or uh, angry, you're tuning in, sometimes you can be tuning into lower energies, dark energies that are trying to create interference in your energetic field to interfere with your uh, light path. So your emotions, your feelings are indicators of their confirmation when you're working with a light being or there's a dark being that might be moving in trying to create some interference. They're like mosquitoes. I just think of them like mosquitoes. They're very annoying. They're very irritating. They can't harm you unless you buy into the idea that they can. And you're the one that has the power. You can, you can swat them, swat them, smack them, and stay in your power most definitely. Now, again, your fear fuels them. So as much as you can stay grounded, the more likely you are to stay in that space of love and light. Now, another thing that was incredibly important uh, that I want to to share with you before we move into our free psychic reading today. Negative energies and negative entities cannot exist in the dimension of love. So we have this beautiful dimension of love and we can access that anytime we want by simply feeling gratitude in our heart, finding things that we're thankful for. Prayer helps you tune into that dimension of love. All kinds of meditation, yoga, all these beautiful relaxing things uh, will help you tune into that dimension of love. Now, negative energies function below that. 
way, way, way below that. They're in fear, they're in depression, they're in um, anxiety. They function quite lower uh, than that dimension. And it's just a dimension. And those energies are simply energies. So the dark energies, the negative energies, they're just energy. Uh, that's all they are. Uh, do not give them more power than they deserve. Uh, I think our movies, TV, kind of glorify some of that stuff and, and give it more energy than it really has. So you can disengage, you can disconnect by simply diminishing uh, what they are. It, it is just energy. And you have the ability to rise up and access the dimension of love and use your power from that dimension. They can do no harm when you stand in your light. So when you're in the light, when you stand in the light, just imagine being in that uh, beam of light and it's like a mosquito. And they try to get in, they, they come in, boom, boom, boom. And you're in that frequency of light, they, it dissolves. It evaporates them. They can't sustain in that dimension of love, in that frequency. So it really is incredible how it works. And it's so simple, so easy, and uh, just so, so amazing to share that with you here today. All right, I'm ready for a free psychic reading. I don't know about you, uh, but let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, share this, the six decks that I have today. Healing, Romance, Messages, Life Purpose, Archangels, and the Fairy Deck. So what deck would you like me to pull a card from for you today or if you have a question or maybe you have a uh, loved one in spirit you'd like to connect with you can simply post that in the news feed and I'm going to take just a second to talk about some of the classes I have coming up and then we'll pick a lucky winner and do a special reading for our live audience here today all right now The first class I just want to mention quickly is our Brain Harmony. We have that coming up June 15th at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's a Thursday next week. It's 10 o'clock Eastern Time, and it's Brain Harmony clearing out negative energy. And then our next meditation that I will be hosting is on June 22nd, and that's at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, 10 a.m. Eastern. And you can find that over at, on experts.ometimes.com forward slash Julie Geigel. And that is in our description field. If you click on that, you can uh, certainly tune in and connect with that beautiful, um, beautiful class. And I wanted to share with you, I have a special 20% off discount for all of our beautiful uh, members here today. Anybody who comes in later. You can uh, use this discount to get 20% off our incredible Brain Harmony class next week. It is TKQYLU6G. And if someone could post that in the news feed for me, the discount code is TKQYLU6G. All right, that is so, so awesome. Okay. I am so ready, and I'm going to count to three, and the next person I see in our newsfeed will get a reading today. One, two, three. All right, looks like it's you, Kathy. Kathy Welby Moretti, the angel cards. Um, all right. Okay, congratulations to you, Kathy. You are our lucky, lucky winner. And I'm going to shuffle the deck for you here today. And so, Kathy, just focus on what it is that you would like to hear from your angels today. And, oh, this is a fun card. <clears throat> this is Angel Isabella. And uh, her message today is, yes, the timing is right for this new venture, a happy outcome follows your positive expectations. So, Kathy, what I'm seeing for you today is that uh, it's very exciting. The answer is yes. 
there's something you've been wanting to do. You're, you've been kind of hedging. You've been on the fence. You're not sure. Should I wait? Should I do this now? Maybe I shouldn't do this at all. Well, your angels want you to know, go for it. It's time. This It's your right. Don't worry about it how it's going to happen, how you're going to make it happen, because you're not going to make it happen. The angels are going to make it happen. They are, it's already happened. So you just have to step into this experience and open your heart to receive it. It really is incredible and life changing. Most definitely, most definitely. So Kathy, pay attention. Don't say no to this. This is really important for you to honor your journey to honor your soul what your soul is calling you to experience because it really is a, a, a higher it's a higher calling for you to have this experience it, it isn't something you're making up in your mind or being selfish about do this this is going to change your life and it's honoring and following the wisdom of your heart is so, so very important in your life right now. The time is right. Do it now. No more waiting. Love that card. I'm telling you, people wait a long time to get that card. So blessings to you, Kathy. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here today. You've all been so, so very precious. And if you liked our feed today, be sure to hit like or love and share that in your news feed. We truly appreciate your support. And don't forget to subscribe to our weekly live feed if you enjoyed this week. Then uh, next week, um, you tip up, tap on the follow button and then you'll be notified when I go live next time. Uh, so, so awesome. And this month, the whole month, we're talking about the new earth energy. So don't forget to tune in next week if you want to know what I'll be talking about next week. I'll be talking about grounding yourself, how to ground yourself. Awesome. All right. May God's love bless you and keep you always. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.